Hello and welcome to Go on Shaw TV. My name is Leanne Evans and coming up on today's show we're at the brand new Canalta Center where they're going to be hosting the K9 trials that's taking place on September 20th where 35 dogs from 15 different services from across the country will be here in our city. Clark White from the K9 services will be telling us about the event. So we have that and lots more coming up on Go. They realize they actually can influence their situation by, and in this case by growing their own food. And uh, I think it's been shown that uh, people gain uh, self-confidence. Well, welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. I am joined here with Constable Clark White from the K9 unit. And we're talking all about the CPCA K9 trials that are taking place right here at the Canalta Center. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so what are the canine trials that are taking place here in September? Uh, the canine trials are an annual event that the CPCA hosts, uh, the Canadian Police Canine Association. And we get together annually um, and primarily uh, to raise money for charity. And this year we've chosen the Ronald McDonald House of Southern Alberta as our charity. So 100% of the proceeds uh, from this event will go to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, the event is a, a four-day competition, the first day being a seminar day, uh, kind of an educational day for the, the handlers in attendance, um, bring in some, some keynote speakers. Um, Battis is going to host us for a, a half-day tour out there and, and kind of show us their inner workings, which is great because they don't often open their doors for, uh, for just anybody. So we're going to go out there and show the handlers a thing or two about what they do. Um, and then the next uh, three days will be competition. Um, first two days will be uh, uh, we'll, we'll host the uh, tracking evidence search uh, area search and building search and the detection dogs will do for their um, uh, detection searches which is drugs and explosives um, and then the final day is the public day and that's the, the day that the public get to come and watch and that's Sunday the September the 20th right here at the Canalta Center um, it's free of charge and it's going to be uh, the first event in the, the, the Canalta Centre uh, to date so far. Uh, there's nothing scheduled before that. Um, so we're hoping to pack the, the, the stadium and um, get a lot of people out. Um, because it's free of charge, we're asking in lieu of the admission to bring a, a donation for the Ronald McDonald House uh, to, to try and support their cause because anyone that's uh, had to use the Ronald McDonald House knows how important it truly is uh, when you're in that time of need and you need somewhere to stay, um, it's, it's very important. So that's why we've chosen them uh, as our charity to support. All right, so it's a pretty exciting event. Uh, people from all over the country, well, handlers from all over the country are coming out to Medicine Hat. Um, and you said this is the first time that Medicine Hat has uh, hosted since 1994? That's right, we hosted uh, trials in 1994. And back then it was a, a completely different uh, event than it is now. It's a fairly large production now. And our unit's been working for almost two years uh, tirelessly to, to organize the event, and especially now in the last month coming up to it, uh, we're, we're putting in a lot of final touches, and um, we have to thank the community tremendously because this, this event is uh, funded entirely through uh, community sponsorship. And so corporations throughout the city have donated uh, uh, very graciously to our cause uh, to help us put this event on. Um, there's going to be 35 dog teams from 15 different agencies across the country, all the way from Ottawa to the, uh, Vancouver Island, police services all in between, um, airport authorities, uh, Canadian Border Services, uh, federal corrections, uh, provincial corrections, um, you name it, you're going to see it. So it's a rare opportunity for the public to come out and see uh, police dogs in action. On the public day, they're going to see the obedience and the agility and uh, the fun stuff, which is the criminal apprehension. And they're, that's when they'll truly uh, get a, an appreciation for the amount of training and, and control that handlers uh, put in uh, and the control that handlers have over their dogs and, uh, and how important these dogs are in, in the duties that we use them for. Absolutely. So there's going to be a lot of dogs in our city. There will be, yeah. So be on your best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and there's going to be some dogs that you might have seen on a TV show called Border Security that are coming to Medicine Hat as well. Yeah, like I mentioned, Canadian Border Services will have some dogs here and uh, some of them have been spotlighted on, the, uh, on that TV show. So you'll see some familiar faces probably if you watch the show. Yeah. All right. So how can people find out more information about the trials? Uh, we have a website set up at mhpsk9.ca and we also have a Twitter account at 
2015 canine trials. So you can check us out on, on either of those. Um, the Twitter will be updated uh, throughout the week and, and leading up to the week. You can also check out our sponsors, the, the, the corporations uh, locally that have uh, helped us out to run this event. Support them, please, because they've supported us. So we truly appreciate it. All right. Well, we have lots more coming up on Go. We're going to keep you around to see what it's like to work with a dog as a partner. So we have that lots more coming up on Go. Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. We're at the Canalta Centre talking about the CPCA canine trials that are taking place on September 20th. Uh, Constable Clark White is joining us. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, so you've been with the canine services for about six years now? Yep. And Duco is your dog? Yes. So what is it like having a dog for a partner? Uh, he's the best partner you could ask for. Um, he's always willing to go to work and Days that I'm not willing to go to work, his energy kind of kind of rejuvenates you a little bit and um, gives you the opportunity to to uh, get out and actually catch the the real criminals and uh, you know deal with the worst of the worst and uh, and uh, make a real difference in apprehending people that otherwise would have got away without the service of the dog. So he's, the police dog is the only tool um, that hasn't yet been replicated by man, and I and I can't foresee it happening. Uh, where if someone you know runs away from a crime scene. And there's no indication where they've gone. Uh, the dog can use their the, the person's odor that's left behind to track them and locate them. And it, it truly is, uh, you know, still it's after six years, uh, ten plus years that, that I've uh, been around service dogs, um, still um, boggles my mind on how how um, effective they are and how good they are at, at what they do. And we do, and even as handlers, we don't give them the appreciation or the you know the true understanding of uh, of what they actually are capable of. So. Yeah. So on a daily basis, um, how often is the dog used? Um, on average, we have a four-person unit, four-dog unit. On average, we'll be deployed about 350 times a year. Um, now, through the summer, they could be used four times a night. Uh, throughout the winter, possibly once or twice a week. So, as a, uh, for each team, so it, it kind of it really uh, depends on the weather. Um, just like us, we don't uh, criminals don't like being out in the in the elements and the cold and the, and the blowing snow so um, it's you get into winter and it could be some quiet shifts uh, for the for the dog uh, but in this time of year when it's hot all all night long and people are out um, lots of breaking enters and lots of vehicle entries and uh, you name it and people are out and so when people are out we're busy um, yeah so it's uh, we could be used quite quite frequently and, and, and people don't, uh, they're always surprised to learn how busy the, the canine section is in Medicine Hat. Um, on an annual basis we'll have 40 to 50 apprehensions where the, the dog is uh, responsible for criminal arrests throughout the year. And, uh, and one thing that we're very proud of in Medicine Hat is our, uh, our apprehension com uh, rate compared to our uh, actual contact rate where we, the dogs actually contact somebody. Because first and foremost, the dog is used to, to locate bad guys and not to uh, not to necessarily to, to actually bite them. Um, and it takes a lot of control and a lot of training uh, between the dog and the handler to make sure that they have that control um, to ensure that the dog is first and foremost being used to locate and not and and just because someone's run away um, and we track them and locate them doesn't necessarily mean that we can just automatically bite them. So. Um, yeah, we, we're average about three to four actual contacts in a year compared to the 50 apprehensions that we have throughout the year. So we're, we're proud of that stat. Um, we want to make sure that we're doing it safely for everybody. So that's why we're the training is so important and we do it quite frequently. Oh, yeah. And you you guys are training quite a bit. Um, how often are you training with the dogs? Uh, we meet as a unit for two 10 hour days a month. Uh, that's where all four of us get together and work on some, some skills. Um, and each handler is given eight hours a week dedicated training time um, plus downtime on shift uh, more so throughout the winter because uh, the summertime uh, summertime months uh, we don't get a lot of downtime on shift it's, it's pretty steady 12-hour shifts um, so we get those eight-hour uh, training sessions uh, or two two four-hour training sessions per week um, and then when we when we can we get our dogs out to get some exercises some training uh, between calls and paperwork so something else that you should be proud of uh, for the canine trials, you've come in second for the last few years. Tell me about that. I have. Uh, the 2010 and 2012 
canine trials I attended and I came in second place overall. Uh, last year I didn't place in the overall category but I did win first in criminal apprehension. Another one of our dogs, Constable Siler and Finn, uh, placed second in the evidence uh, profile last year. So we're proud of that. Uh, we're, we're right up there with the best dogs in the country, I think. And I mean, what you're going to see when, when the trials have come is, is how, how good everybody is and how good the control is. And there was once a day where there was a clear distinction between canine units and, and their training and their philosophies. And now because of these events, the, the networking that we have um, and, and getting together with units across the country and talking about training and, and, uh, and trainers meeting. Um, you really uh, see how everything's come together and, and uh, it's the, the vocation has really uh, um, improved and, 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 the, and become more uniform throughout the country. And that's great to see. So you're just one big team. <laughs> one big team, yeah, doing the same thing. No matter where we are in the country, we're all doing the same work. Yeah. All right, again, how can people find out more information about the event that's taking place uh, here, that everybody is welcome, the first um, event here at the Canalta Centre, how can people find out more information? Uh, go to the website at mhpsk9.ca and we'll have some information posted there. Uh, you can also check out the Medicine Hat Police website, uh, medicinehatpolice.com, and uh, our Twitter account is probably going to be the most up-to-date, uh, so follow us on Twitter at 2015k9trials. All right, I also agreed that I'll let your dog attack me. <laughs> what am I in for? Uh, well, you got a 100-pound missile coming at you, so be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we have that and uh, lots more coming up on Go. Well, that wraps up our show for today. For more information on the trials, www.mhpsk9.ca. And for more information on anything that we have been covering, we are on Facebook at Shaw TV Medicine Hat, also on Twitter at Shaw TV The Hat. Now, I kind of did something crazy, and I agree that Duco can attack me. So uh, I guess let's give this a try. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy, good dog, bud. Good dog, bud. That dog. Yeah. We're at the Penalta Center where they're putting on the final sitting in some light posts, I don't know. The um, 